Hi, welcome to GT Garage again. Uh, come to the end of another day working on the trailer. Yes, getting there. Um, now, what I want to show you here is where I've decided to put the, um, the fridge. So, um, fridge is going in the back. Made a little cradle for it underneath. It's approximately uh, 450, 500, about 700 this way. Okay, now um, fits in there very snug. And on here, on the back of here, is going to be the back wall of the kitchen. Coming up to here. That's the back wall there. Now all this back end is still tacked on. Um, this looks a bit confusing down here at the moment, but what we've got here is um, uh, bench is gonna be here, this level, bench. Um, this uh, sleeping deck, this floor will go from here probably up to this level. This here is to, just to demonstrate like a partition across here. Um, and all through underneath this bench, I'm gonna have the bench as a, on a hinge, hinging from this point here. And it's gonna be able to lift up and it's basically just storage underneath. And then that section there, from the outside, the driver's side, I'm going to put like access hatch over there. Same deal, this floor's going to come up to here, and then that can be obviously this can have a wall there. I just had to cut it off of this piece here. Um, it's going to be a wall down there and floor at the top, and then that's going to be for storage of I don't know, recovery gear, tools, etc. Um, I did. I just did check, and my jerry can, the 20, 20 liter, twenty five liter jerry can, fits there perfect. Um, with space to spare, so um, that's basically what we've done today. Um, let's put the doors in again, just so you can see. Plus, they come out of the way, um, minimise the risk of damage. Anyway, just a short bid to um, show you how that's going. And then next will be making the hatch to fit in the back here. Don't really want to start it just yet because I need the um, hurricane hinge. Because essentially you need a, quite a big gap all the way around. So you make it to the hinge. Anyway, that's all for now. It's the latest update. If you're liking this stuff, please like, and like the video and subscribe and you'll uh, be able to see all of my other ones. Um, thanks, see ya. Hey again, GT here. Now, just a bit of a quick update. So this is where I'm at at the moment. Just tacked in the flange for the back door. Just ordered my um, center flex hinge this morning. So that'll take at least a week to get here, I'd say. Um, other thing I've done is, now I know there's a lot of sawdust around because I've been doing a bit of using the routing tool. Um, made a cradle for the fridge. Fridge fits perfectly here. Well, obviously with a bit of wriggle room between the back door closes here, or the hatch closes here. And this is a kitchen wall right here. And it fits nice and snug in there. Um, this section under here, obviously there's a little false wall that goes across there just like this side. Um, that there can fit a jerry can or tools and everything and I'm just going to get a um, external access door over there. Um, this is a floor all the way across here. Um, plate across the front here. So this is the, the deck level, and then you go up probably, I guess, what's that guess, 
100 mil steps up and all that, that does is bring the floor up a little bit so that I've got more storage area underneath here so what happens here is obviously the fridge comes up to here you can see where the mark is the fridge takes up this space a bit of ventilation room around it and then here we're up to here we've got workbench or kitchen bench kitchen wall here and then it's going to be a flip up bench like this or ability to flip up and then it's just storage all the way down and back up to that there so i don't know pots and pans cutlery i don't know just space and then up here the shelf is across here and just more room for other stuff okay so that's the, the latest update now there's panels missing like this panel across the top and some of the walls in across here because i'm starting to take them out give them just route the edge of them so they're nice and neat and then i'm going to seal them with a polyurethane and then i'm going to clean out that floor brush it down and then we'll hit it with some kill rust and then everything comes back in for the final time okay um that's it that's the only update for now I haven't done anything else other than that uh, you can see the doors in in, in the light fit perfectly i thought i'll put the floor up a little bit too high but that's actually a perfect height there because what it does is it keeps you um from actually sitting on the edge of the window frame or the door frame so all of this will be marine carpeted nice and cozy and i'm actually thinking of doing marine carpet up the walls and everything as well all right that's all for now gt garage like and subscribe